In today's inclusive and progressive world, we must always respect those who choose to identify, for example, as a bunny rabbit or a kitten or a puppy, rather than say, as a human. I mean, you can't help it if you're just an animal trapped in the wrong body. It's simply a case of being neurodivergent. A lot of the people using kitty and pup and bunny self pronouns are neurodivergent minors. It is a very common neurodivergent experience to feel a disconnect from being human mm -hmm. and from, from the societal expectation of the gender you were assigned at birth. Uh, okay, I, I think I know where she's coming from. Sorry, when I, when I, mean, I mean we, when, when we say where I, when they, what do I mean again? So when you have this intersection of feeling a disconnect from being human and a disconnect from the societal expectation of gender, whether you're neurodivergent or not, a lot of people have this experience who are neurodivergent. It's just very common with neurodivergent people. When this intersects, you get noun self pronouns and animal noun self pronouns. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That helps. I, I mean, it's just this animal noun self pronoun thing. You know, I, I'm kind of struggling with that. If you are not comfortable using someone's pronouns because you assume it's kink for some weird ass reason, don't interact with them and just shut up about it. Okay. Okay. I will. Whew, fair enough. Fair point. Uh, identifying as a pup sounds barking mad to me. 